Now, the English Football League has uh, actually said that they will be resuming, and they've warned that football cannot resume before adequate testing arrangements are in place for coronavirus. Now, this comes after it was reported that the Premier League had stepped up planning for a return behind closed doors as early as June. Now, in a statement, the EFL said before any return to football can take place, suitable testing arrangements for participants must be in place, and there is, this is core to the current planning, as is ensuring there is absolutely no negative impact on the country's frontline workers, the emergency services league, and club staff members. Now, the EFL also stated that it will continue to work with all stakeholders, including the Premier League and the Football Association, to determine key details, including the scheduling of fixtures, promotion, relegation, and the timing of the transfer windows. Now the question is, should the English Premier League resume all because the season must end or should we endure until this is over, the whole pandemic? Well, right now in the UK, they are trying as much as possible to actually curb the pandemic and to reduce the numbers. And so far, so good. They've been doing well. And people have been allowed to start coming out of their houses mm. now. So the, the restrictions and the lockdown are starting to ease up. We've seen how it has eased up in Germany the same in um, Italy, and now England is also doing the same. Mm. So they are doing that because the situation is actually improving. Um, less number of people being tested, less number of people being infected, and a higher recovery rate as well. So it's, it only makes sense for them to actually look forward to get back to playing football, and sports mm. generally as well. Exactly, talking about sports generally, even the NBA are looking to resume training next week. But we have joining us via Skype this morning, Amos Joseph, a journalist and founder of Footballers Connect Initiative. Welcome to the show, Amos. Thank you, Doka. It's nice to uh, hear from you guys this morning. Yeah, true. Um, how have you been holding up with this lockdown situation? I mean, everybody is involved in this. Uh, the entire world is uh, trying to survive, trying to stay alive, which is the most important thing right now for everybody, for every living thing on this planet. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very important that we take precautionary measures, we obey whatever the authorities are saying, uh, that is the most important thing to do right now. For me, I'm locked down somewhere. Uh, I'm, I was caught up in Port Harcourt. Oh, wow. uh, I'm not able to leave Port Harcourt until uh, the borders are open again. Mm. Yeah, so everybody is just trying to do what is best. Uh, and with regards to what is going on around the world, football, sports generally, I mean, if you listen to what all the authorities are saying, including the game, the players themselves, uh, those who are involved in the main action, what, you, what everybody is saying is that Life is more important than anything, than, even than football. Uh, we want to return, but we want it to be safe. That's what everybody's saying. Mm. Now, with what you said so far, you'd, you'd, I think you agree with the fact that the EFL is saying that they should not resume the leagues first, in as much as the players and some of the clubs are willing to kick off the football training. Well, um, it is okay to want to return. I mean, if we are beginning to talk about returning to football at this point in time, it mm. tells you that... Uh, I mean, we can survive coronavirus. That is one pointer. So it's a pointer to the fact that um, it is not that deadly. Uh, we can actually manage the situation. Things can actually be done. Things are, if things are put in place, if certain measures are put in place. What the EFL is basically saying, what the chairman is basically saying is that, hey, guys, it's okay to want to return, but I mean, let us put whatever we need to put in place in terms. Put it into perspective. UK are the fifth hit country. Now, they are behind Germany, behind Italy, behind Spain, behind America. You don't want to put anybody's life at risk. So what, what the chairman is basically saying is that they're going to consult all the doctors that need to be consulted, mm. um, every health practitioner that needs to be consulted, the experts. Okay, what can we do to mitigate these things? What exactly can we do? What he's saying is rigorous testing. Uh, whatever we need to put in place, let us do it. That is the most important thing. Like, if you look at the numbers, UK has a very high number as well. Like, yeah. I mean, with 153K cases um, who have recovered, over 20,000 deaths. That's massive. Mm -hmm. You don't want to risk anybody's life because of football, you know. Um, I mean, there are issues to talk about. Relegation, promotion, pay cuts, all of these things are also there. <laughs> so there are lots of issues uh, that, you know, the prime minister is saying, oh, football uh, is seen as something that could help people pass through the boredom uh, that yeah. coronavirus is bringing. You know, a, a lot of people are bored at home. But if there is football, people will begin to come alive again. There's things to watch. But I mean, behind closed doors. Mm. 
Now, watching football behind closed doors, I'm sure that's not an enjoyable thing to do at the moment. But of course, it looks like we are determined to find out a winner in the English Premier League. I mean, the Eredivisie had to cancel the league, no winner on the relegation. Why can't that be applied in the English Premier League? Well, going to the Eredivisie, um, if you listen to Edwin Van, uh, Van der Sar, uh, who is the CEO at Ajax, one thing I love from his statement is that life is more important. Yeah. Staying alive is more important. We will come back to playing football. I mean, um, you, Liverpool, don't, Liverpool guys don't want to hear this. I mean, <laughs> Liverpool supporters don't want to hear this. Because if you, if you dare bring this to England, there's, there's a lot at stake. You know, uh, there's just few matches to go in England as well. Uh, Liverpool in, in good position, very good position, just two matches away from clinching the title, and then you want to botch the season. Um, if it means playing behind closed doors, I mean, for England, uh, where it is right now, look at Germany. Uh, they're also talking about starting, look at Italy, they're also looking at starting with individual trainings first, and then the team training can begin, and then before they can begin playing matches behind closed doors. So, for, for England, <laughs> Liverpool is is... They've been waiting for this. They've been mm. waiting for this moment. Um, but, you know, these are critical times, unprecedented times that we've never seen before, that we've never experienced before. Yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like a test for everybody. Nobody knows what to do. Nobody's an expert at this point mm -hmm. because you've not experienced it before or nobody has seen it before. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if whatever it is that the resolve would be, uh, I mean, it would only be fair to allow Liverpool to, to start when the season is good to start. Uh, when, we put ad when we put adequate measures in place, when the, the, the UK health sector says, OK, guys, you guys can play under this condition, under certain condition, let's just see the matches through. Look at the EFL. What they're saying is they want to complete the season in two, in two months. Mm -hmm. Within two months, they want to ensure that the season ends. Mm -hmm. And some in the championship, they've got like about 11 matches to go. In the League One and Two, some of them have... Uh, games in hand, uh, but I mean, in all, about 11 games. You you don't want you don't want a situation where um, you start playing and then there are negatives. Yeah. You know, a lot of people will take the heat. A lot of people will take the blame. The citizens will come out hard on you, mm -hmm. and that is one of the price of being a leader, being at the pole position, being a, being a head, being a chairman. It is mm -hmm. a responsible role, and and what the chairman wants to do is, guys, let us ensure that we don't come back. Regretting. Mm -hmm. That's just it. All right. Thank you, Amos, for talking to us this morning. And continue to stay You're safe. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Please, let's stay alive. Let's stay alive and stay safe. It's very important for everybody. Yeah. Very true. Staying alive and staying safe, that's quite vital. And, of course, a good information from Amos right there. That was Amos Joseph, journalist and founder of Footballers Connect Initiative, giving us his own thoughts on if the league should resume or not. And I think for me, life matters first rather than coming to play sports. And as much as we all enjoy watching football, we should ensure that the pandemic is over before we can have football on our screens again. Yes, definitely. Not just the fans, but mm. then the athletes as well. Exactly. Their lives also matter. They need to put into um, view that, you know what, for me to actually keep doing what I love to mm. do, I need to stay safe and I need to be alive. Mm. Um, it takes a lot to make sporting events happen, um, from the organizers to the staff at the stadiums, to the players, the coaches, the media, different aspects of the media, the cameramen, the journalists, mm. so many people. So it takes a lot to make things happen in the yeah. world of sports. So it's very mm. important that these people stay safe, they stay alive, so very that we true. can actually get back to doing what we love to do. All right, getting back to doing what we love to do, that's uh, watching the very best of football. And of course, are these athletes entertaining us and of course, securing titles for themselves.